Some went down a dark path, waiting too long to commit or submit to a situation. I feel this is someone who did it all for nothing. They did it all for the material things of life or what they thought they could get. I definitely feel this is someone who went down the wrong path thinking that they would be rewarded for their choices, but I feel this is someone who failed to realize the damage that was truly being done in this situation. I feel this is someone who failed to commit, bring light to a truth. I feel like someone avoided you, which only took them down a dark path. I feel this energy went down a dark path trying to trigger you. <sighs> Ghosting and avoiding you. Someone was trying to avoid a deep conversation with you. I feel many of you possibly lost faith, lost trust, respect for this energy who is still watching or waiting for an opportunity with you. <sighs> this is someone who was seeking attention validation from third party energies is dark influences someone avoided you for something that was dark which only led them down a deeper path a darker road where they have a lot of wounds from the past as well as the present i feel this is someone who has a lot of issues that are occurring right now they feel like they played themselves something is played out and they're trying to figure out how to distance themselves from something but they're starting to feel like you ghosted them as well blocked them out they're feeling blocked out drained in the process someone is definitely dealing with a lot of turmoil for ghosting or avoiding you this energy tried to trigger you someone definitely tested your boundaries i feel this is someone who avoided you for dark energies a false environment that is only causing them to be more wounded more distracted there's a lot of delays and a lot of losses someone failed to manipulate you someone thought that they could provoke something out of you but i feel this is someone who has some outdated thinking hmm. someone who has outdated thinking who never really tells the truth i feel it's hard to even invest into this energy they're always taking something down a dark path trying to trigger you or cause some type of confusion because of their own desires their own needs which only led them to an even darker space this is someone who is disconnected overly anxious someone is also very dismissive or always on the defense because they're never satisfied someone is coming out as a pathological liar who is always wasting time trying to trigger you i feel like this is someone who project their issues even though they know they've caused a lot of trust issues with you they're starting to worry hmm. consumed by their desires when it comes to a place they used to call home wow someone is definitely sitting in a space currently where they're confused or they have a lot of worries when it comes to someone they have attached themselves to. This is a dark influence that is coming out as delusional. Hmm. Third party not seeing something for what it is when it comes to a painful transformation. I feel this is someone who is pretending to be blind to a truth. This could be the third party or this energy who has avoided you. As it seems they're really triggered by you turning your back. Hmm. But they are still consumed by what... They want things to appear as. This is why they're not fighting for you. When they know, they should be. Someone thought that they were going to put you in a position to be consumed by your emotions. The history of this connection. They thought something was going to save them. So they repeated some patterns that only got them tangled up in their own web of lies. This is someone who pretended to be innocent. And this is why you turned your back. This energy pretended to be innocent to a situation, causing many of you to just give up. Give up on the fight of ever believing they would even change. This is someone who has a snake-like way about them, triggering you, trying to provoke you. Only wasted a lot of time because many of you have just chose to heal from this. Many of you feel safer in solitude or away from this energy. There is a distance between the two of you, only because of their cloudy judgment or false beliefs. Someone definitely tested your boundaries by their destructive ways 
and bad habits, someone turned their back. I feel like this energy turned their back, left you in a space to doubt their energy, the words, the little trust that you had. Because many of you are feeling safer in solitude, you're no longer waiting. I feel like many of you are no longer waiting because this energy is acting and looking at like a fool these days. I feel there are energies who are talking about you and they're not wanting to hear it because it only causes them pain. I feel like they're not wanting to hear it because people are asking questions and they know it fully really makes sense, but this is someone who is very irrational and they don't have a clue to even why they did this. This is someone who caused a painful ending because they never gave in to a transformation. Now they're going through a painful transformation whether they want to or not. This energy is driven by their lust, their weaknesses, and playing hide and seek with you. This energy is unmotivated, causing many of you to just see where this leads. Many of you are no longer compromising or changing for this energy. I feel this energy was unmotivated because they thought that you were going to be a pushover. Like you would eventually let them back in or be the guiding light in this situation and fix it. The way you always do. Now there is a sense of depression, thinking that you have given up, and they're triggered. Someone is triggered after trying to trigger you. Now this energy is sitting in a space where they feel vulnerable, left behind, all because of their immature, selfish, and petty ways. I feel this is someone who had their way of loving you, but I feel the bad outweighs the good when it comes to someone who is completely draining you. This is why they're hiding. This is why this energy is still in the dark. Someone knows they played themselves like a fool for being immature and petty with you. Now it seems they're always stressed and stuck. Stuck in what they've done or the lack of. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space of depression, really not seeing the fact that they are sitting in that energy. Hmm. But I feel them being unmotivated is also causing them to go deeper into a state of depression or self-doubt, especially when it comes to fixing things with you. This is someone who was consumed by a third party and this energy pretended to be blind, pretended to not be a fool in the situation. Someone felt like eventually you would give in, so they repeated these patterns. I feel this energy thought that you were going to be consumed by the history of this relationship and you were going to be the one to apologize or cry for this. But I feel they got tangled up into their own mess, being disconnected from their heart. I feel like this energy ignored your heart as well as your concerns just to test the boundaries, just to test the limits, which is something they're choosing to overlook not see for what it is, yet I sense in an effort to see how far they could go, someone lost you. Now they're uncertain. I feel like this is someone who could do more, but this energy is still not grown from their issues, their mistakes, or their problems. They thought they were going to get some type of response from you, so they took the easy way out taking things too far in the process. However, I also sense thought, their whole vibe change. I feel like their whole vibe change when you realize something wasn't worth it. Hmm. I feel their whole vibe change and things started to hit a little different when they realized they only taught you how to finally accept the silence or the distance between the two of you, which wasn't the plan. Someone didn't want you to give up. They didn't want you to give up. But I feel their toxic ways, their habits, their lies, their deception, their betrayal pushed you to it. Let's get some energy here, folks. Let's get some energy here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, their immature ways, destructive tendencies, and turning their back against you is what's is the reason why many of you gave up a fight. Many of you are no longer allowing this energy to deceive you. You're no longer waiting. This is definitely a waiting game when it comes to this energy. 
who is still sitting in destructive or immature vibes. Still driven by their weaknesses and lusts, but it's only pushing them to a state of depression, misery. I feel this energy took things too far when it comes to their destructive tendencies or protecting their issues. I feel them never telling you the truth is another reason why many of you are very suspicious of even listening or giving in to them. I feel many of your many of you have a, such a big heart you are willing to forgive and forget, but others you're not. You're not easily tempted or swayed when it comes to this energy. They've been too destructive or messy in the past, causing you to see them for who they are instead of who you would want them to be. I feel this is someone who caused a lot of damage because of their own old wounds or things that they have failed to heal. And this is why they're always testing you or trying to trigger you. But I feel it only caused them to face their own demons. Hmm. This is definitely someone who disappeared left you with a lot of questions in fact I feel like this is someone who blindsided you always thinking more now they're haunted by this past of being naive and playing hide and seek with you as I said before this is someone who is consumed by the way others see them and now they're consumed by how you see them as well as this connection I feel this is someone who is keeping secrets and this is why they're playing hide and seek this energy is keeping secrets when it comes to dark attachments. I feel this energy is playing the martyr, still trying to play innocent to a situation where they were resisting divine intervention, resisting help from the universe, which only caused something to go deeper, get deeper, because this energy wasn't following the plan, wasn't following their purpose, and even accepting the blessings and the help that was given. Now they're replaying everything. They're thinking about the past, but also leaving out some very important details as this energy is still playing the martyr. Still playing the victim in the situation as this energy is not easily tamed, but definitely consumed by their emotions. I feel this energy is consumed by their emotions because they couldn't orchestrate or manipulate a situation where they're now feeling overwhelmed, feeling like there's a sinking feeling of having no way out. This is why they're so consumed by their emotions because they know that they are codependent. And these influences and false environments only change them. This is someone who was hiding behind a mask as well as hiding their motives because of this cloudy judgment. Someone failed to change because they were just testing the limits as well as your boundaries. This is what caused them to be left behind. Someone's also realizing they have some very deep wounds of abandonment issues. This energy is feeling real vulnerable after testing the limits, having cloudy judgment, and never being satisfied with what they had. Someone's still sitting in a space of dealing with unfamiliar emotions and feelings, and even why they chose to ghost you this disappearing act leaving you with more questions than answers I feel this is someone who lost the respect that you had or the love that you have many of you are still hoping this energy changes but I feel they're feeling like a loser feeling like something is lost and they could be on the edge wanting to return but someone is sitting in a lot of pride not wanting to beg for your energy this energy is dealing with a lot of insecurities. Mm. Feeling something is faded out. Mm. There's a lot of doubt when it comes to, to this energy who is still faking the funk. This is someone who is faking their happiness, but still stuck behind a mask and overdoing it when it comes to consumption of substances that is only leading them to an empty void. I feel this energy is trying to fill a void. This is why they're hot and cold. Yet they're feeling trapped when it comes to a third party energy who is always causing drama. This third party is very bitter, salty. They're talking a lot about you or this other energy. But I feel all of this stress, all of this doubt, or them being blocked out from your energy or being stressed is going to send them through a dark night of the soul. 
I feel this is someone who is all already going through this dark night of the soul, still sitting in a space where they know that they are empty or unfulfilled, but this energy has yet to make a change that makes any sense when it comes to their purpose, their life, or those that should be around them. This is someone who has pushed a lot of people away that meant to be, that was meant to be a blessing in their life. Let's get one more card here. Because they chose to cling to something else. I feel this energy got caught up into something that was completely an illusion, a pipe dream, something that was false that they fell into, but the fact that they were being so immature with you, someone was distracted to something else that they should have been paying attention to. Let's get some more energy here. Someone that's being ignorant when it comes to a one night stand, something that should have been casual or just a friend or not. I feel this is a reason why they have yet to reconcile with you. Someone should have cut something off. Something should have ended a long time ago. Hmm. Someone definitely should have chose you. This is why something is about to explode or they're feeling this deep sense of depression or unfamiliar emotions that are starting to worry or trigger them. Someone knows they made the wrong decision by ghosting or avoiding you because now all they have left is this false environment or dark influences. Hmm. But they're still trying to save face. They're consumed by what others think of them. But I feel this is an outdated way of thinking that they're about to be a true learner of their mistakes. I feel this is someone who is on the de defense when it comes to someone who has bad, bad intentions of them. They're somewhat closed off, but they still see you as a true connection, a true love. This energy knows they made a lot of mistakes ignoring you, gaslighting you, and never validating your emotions or feelings, and this is why the vibe changed. I feel things change when it comes to this energy because they blocked you out, they wanted to drive you crazy. I feel like this energy put you in a space to question them so that you would want them more or even fight for your position. Someone was definitely trying to affect your emotions, which only changed the vibe when they ignored you. Wow. Someone wanted you to apologize. Someone wanted to push you to the point that you were driven crazy, questioning everything, just so that you could admit you were sorry about being picky or intimidating them, even being independent. Something shocked them. Someone thought that the disrespect that they were giving you would change you, motivate you to push harder to be with them or be the number one position in their life. Someone disrespected this relationship with false promises and never truly appreciating you. Hmm. I feel this energy is shock after blocking you out or this energy is shocked that you blocked them. This is someone who is shocked at the fact that you are no longer interested in the way that you used to be. Someone is thinking about how they lied they were not a person of their word. Now they're feeling uncertain, unclear, confused about all that happened here. As the more questions that have gone unanswered is another reason why this energy is feeling uncertain or triggered, worried about your energy. This is someone who breadcrumbs you because of their fear of commitment, causing something to have no closure, something to be unfinished. Many of you do not see it as unfinished. Some of you do, but many of you feel like this energy is being blocked from you for a reason. I feel having no access to you is also driven by your ancestors. Hmm. Someone is definitely being blocked from you. Hmm. Wow. So, I feel there's no closure because this energy tried to force something with a situation ship, a third party that only became a trauma bomb. I feel this third party wants there to be unfinished business. People want you to be in a position of being in your emotions, your feelings. This energy thought you would chase. I feel this energy gave you a lot of time to trace this connection, but now they're realizing the situation ship that they forced just to get a reaction out of you was a bad choice. This third party, this situation ship has bad intentions that only leads them to be closed off from a true love. This is someone who is full of anxiety, 
trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to. Someone also wants to reach out with this energy here. But there's an anxious mindset when it comes to talking to you. Because they know they're going to have to be real with you if they want you to open up. Someone wants you to let them in again, but I feel this is someone who really doesn't have the motivation to, to fix this, fix what is broken. But I feel it's only leading them to a space of depression. Wow, this energy doesn't even know they're sitting in this low vibrational energy. But I feel them being a narcissist has a little something to do with that. Still not facing their demons after throwing shade or being a fox. After just avoiding and ghosting you or having fuckboy energy. Reverse the roles if necessary. But I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space where they know they're the ones who change the vibe by not validating your intentions, your concerns, your emotions. Hmm. Causing something to fail because now they're completely blocked. This is someone who no longer has access to you, which is causing them to worry because things have never been like this. Yet I sense many of you have started to realize something about the chemistry between the two of you. Hmm. Many of you have started to understand the energy and love you had for them wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough for them to understand the blessing that you truly were for their life. As it seems the issues between the two of you only got bigger the more you seemed to care or compromise. And this is why the vibe changed. And many of you are seeking a new independence. Something else is coming your way regardless. Mm -hmm. Regardless if they learn how to give the proper energy towards you or not. Let's get a different deck out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. I feel this energy putting you out of distance only changed the vibe in the worst way. Which only caused many of you to see that no matter your effort or how hard you try, things would always be the same. I feel many of you were just put into a space where you're no longer wanting to force something with someone who is still not seeing the truth. Hmm. Because no matter what you tried to do, this energy was always proving a point when it comes to them being petty or even selfish with you and to ruin your light, your light, force, your energy, or even your mental stability trying to help, guide, or even change them was just too much of an issue as many of you are not trying to ruin your own life force or your own state of being <sighs> trying to fix this. That was never the option. Yeah, this is unselfish giving. You are an unselfish giver. You gave a lot in this connection, and this energy knows that for a fact. This is why they can't stop thinking about the mistakes they made, but I feel this energy is still not being clear about what actually took place here. They're still trying to hide from this pain, yet I sense what's coming their way is inevitable. Them being consumed by their choices is the least of their worries, and this is someone is still playing dumb to a situation, playing dumb to their petty ways. They're, this is someone who has some very unhealthy boundaries. They have no limits when it comes to embellishing a story. They're pretending. Someone is definitely pretending to know what they're doing, but this energy is living in a false reality, a fantasy, something that is unrealistic, and this is why their ideas are coming up short. Hmm. Thinking love is love, no matter how you choose to give it, yet they're about to understand love shouldn't hurt. You have only been loving and helpful to this energy, who has only caused a lot of chaos, unfiltered chaos, by keeping secrets of being closed off. Someone knows that your love was pure, and they was just dead weight, trying to embellish a story with their twisted ways of thinking. Someone is acting fake for clout and being very callous with you. I feel that at some point this energy even pretended not to know you, treated you like a stranger because they were sticking to the script. 
someone didn't want to deviate from their their plans. Someone didn't want to take this loss, so they blended in. Doing something for clout, doing something for attention, even though they know that you were pure of heart. This energy wanted to be independent, free. But something has become dead weight when it comes to their energy. They're carrying something that is very heavy when it comes to that company. Unsavory energies who have been very questionable. These are energies who are coming out as a class act as this energy is unawakened to, to those who are talking behind their back, throwing shade, and doing it unapologetically. Someone around them really doesn't care about nothing and no one but their own needs. They're being shady, elusive, disrespectful, and they're talking behind this energy's back, knowing that they are unhealed, misguided, and unawakened. I feel those around them know that they threw something away disrespectfully, having a big head about a situation, believing they knew it all. This third party is unapologetic when it comes to their vindictive ways, very unreasonable unwavering intentions of revenge this energy this third party knows that this energy who misses you or avoided you they are very easily misled or misguided this energy misplaced their trust with this third party thinking that they knew what that what they were doing but this third party is truly trash this is an energy who is very overly confident. This third party loves to humiliate them because they don't see something for what it is. They're getting off on it, like doing something publicly or saying things about them that may or may not be true. They like feeling like they're running the show. This third party doesn't like being second best. They don't like that this energy is not committing to them, not committing to them poorly. They feel second best. They don't want to be a lookalike or they don't want to become you to have their attention. But I feel this is someone who has done a lot of things that won't be forgiven. This could be a third party or the other energy. But whatever it is, someone is going to have to really deal with what they've done. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more energy here. This is someone who doesn't have healthy boundaries because they like living in this fantasy, embellishing the truth because this false reality it is what keeps it keeps them sane, even though they know they're being petty with you. Hmm. This is someone who is definitely not showing up as who they need to be. But as I said before, you guys, to on your life force or your mental state. That was never the option. I feel you love this energy. But the things they have done to you has also led you to love yourself more. I feel many of you have accepted the distance or accepted who they have shown themselves to be. Or many of you have allowed them to step into what they thought they wanted. Just so they can see nothing and no one can ever replace you or even compare. Let's get some final energy from this deck. Moonlighting. <laughs> Someone is definitely trying to play innocent here. This is the third party who plays a victim very well. Wow. Third party is definitely playing the victim, wanting this energy to stay stuck. They want them to be blocked out from your life. This energy is moonlighting as something that they know they are not just to gain power. They don't like the fact that they are not committing or submitting, so they put them in a box. A box of shame. This energy wants this person to be depressed, stuck, feeling like there's no way out so they don't try. Yet I sense it's only going to push them to a space where they try to find a new beginning. Because this is definitely not what they expected. But the fact that they don't have healthy boundaries is the reason they got themselves into this mess. Someone doesn't have healthy boundaries and this is why they're caught in, in a box, they're trapped in a space of shame. Someone's guilt 
is definitely starting to get to them. This is someone who has a guilty conscience of being careless. Careless with your energy. Careless and callous. This is someone who was very cruel and disregarded you in a very nasty way. Hmm. Because this energy was trying to keep something a secret. But I feel even when they were non-committal or not giving their best with you, they're also doing that with this third party. This is why they're trying to shame them to submit. Hmm. Someone has definitely been demoted. This could be the third party energy here or this is their energy feeling like they had to settle for less. I feel this energy only took this route with this third party to get you to react, drive you crazy, make you want to fight for your position. Someone definitely tried to trigger you and they only ended up triggering their own life, making a mess of something. Now this third party wants their position, wants the power in this situation. They don't want you to come back or give in to this energy so it, they're making a lot of things complicated behind the scenes whether that is financially mentally physically whatever it is it's ca causing this energy to be delayed pretending to be okay with the circumstances or even their choices this energy is coming out with the peter pan syndrome bottom of the deck because of bad company someone is definitely being led astray and as I said before, this bad company is attached to someone who definitely doesn't, doesn't even care about them, doesn't even give a fuck. This bad company is unapologetic about their choices, their energy, and what they bring. The fact that they're leaving someone less of who they are, this energy is not pouring into them. They're taking from them. They're draining them, and they're doing it without a care in the world. This is bad company, a false environment. A karmic energy who is now teaching them the very lesson they have taught you yeah someone is also this third party is a, a class act they're embellishing and telling telling lies they have twisted beliefs and they're also very petty about being sick and best and they are also sticking to a script where they're supposed to come out on top this third party is very flirty hmm liking the fact that they are able to guide someone in their own chaos, their own misery as this energy has tunnel vision when it comes to getting what they want and keeping it. As I said before, this is someone who's trying to pretend like they don't know you when they miss you a lot. Peter Pan syndrome for someone who just failed to grow up. This is someone who doesn't want to grow up or they just failed to do so. A failure to launch in a situation where someone is still on the fence when it comes to change. They're faking it. Someone's still faking who they are, what they're going through. They still feel like they know what they're doing. I feel this third party is very boastful, condescending, and publicly shaming them whether that is on purpose or by default but I feel this is someone who has a very evil spirit an evil spirit and there is really no purpose for it this is an evil spirit with an evil purpose and this energy just needs to let go upgrade their friends because this third party is definitely using them for their resources I also feel this third party just doesn't want to be alone hmm but they're very toxic. Hmm. This energy is very toxic. Wanting to keep you at a distance. This energy knows that you are competition. Competition they could never level up to. This is why they're wanting to do some things from a very hateful space to keep this energy guarded from you. I feel this energy is definitely a class act because they're good at playing the victim or making something seem like something it's not. This third party is getting off on the gossip. They're getting off on the tension between the two of you. As it seems, this energy is low-key trying to keep things apart. They're on a mission when it comes to creating a sense of shame, imbalance. Because they're definitely not helpful. There's a lot of self-sabotage here. Someone is wanting to be let go, wanting to be dumped. Or this third party is about to be dumped because of the stress between this energy and the one that they drain. Hmm. So I feel like someone's about to lose something through sabotage. Someone could be sabotaging something or setting fires intentionally 
to get someone to let go of them. This is someone who is stressed out. So this is someone, this is not the third party who is stressed out. This energy is stressed out who now seeks your validation. I feel like they could be sabotaging something that they know isn't helpful to them. They're tired of being ashamed of being attached to someone who is very unapologetic about their energy. I feel they could be stressed out. For some of you, even thoughts of calling out for help. This is suicidal energy of someone who is dealing with someone who's very vain, just as selfish as they are, superficial energy. They really care about what things look like this third party. This is why they're not wanting this energy to come back your way. This energy doesn't want to feel like second best. When they know at the end of the day, they don't even compare to you. This energy could never reach your energy. Mm. This energy is coming out as a ticking time bomb who only got someone caught up in a fantasy. I feel this will end badly with this third party who is definitely on a mission to keep what they think they have. But I feel this was only supposed to be a lesson between the karmic and this energy who avoids you. I feel this third party is willing to get them caught up real bad. This is someone who is about to publicly embarrass them. This energy who has avoided you is about to go through something that they never thought that they would go through. This could be a public shaming or someone losing financially. There could be death. There could be someone in handcuffs at the end of this. This third party is very low class. Nothing to show for the things, that the, the destruction that they have caused. But they're always trying to send black magic energy or hate someone's way. But I feel something is about to become a final destination. As this third party is definitely a ticking time bomb. I feel this third party or the choices that they have made has definitely led them nowhere. For someone who is unawakened and humiliated by someone they chose to trust because they're only talking behind their back. Someone knows that they don't even fit in but they're trying anyways. I feel this is someone who's really touchy about you. Even when your name is spoken someone's speaking of you and they just can't take it. Someone knows that they screwed this up but they never thought things would end this way. But I feel this energy should have started coming after being callous or cruel with you. Being un unapologetic about the disrespect. Someone sabotaged something with you when you were the only one there for them. You were the only one helping them. And now they see the truth. But now things are definitely being illuminated to them. As I said before, this is someone who has treated you with a great deal of disrespect. Pretending not to miss you or even understand you yet. They do. Someone knows how loving and helpful you truly are, the blessing you truly are in their life, but someone is still missing the point. Hmm. So this is someone who knows they said and did a lot of things that they wish they could take back or even change, as there is a lot going on here that would surprise you, and for some of you, none of their actions would surprise you at all. But the fact that they have failed to let you go, mentally or physically, is another reason why I'm thinking this energy would never truly get over what they had with you and what they lost in the process of being ignorant or hurtful towards you, trying to get you to have some type of reaction. It only pushed you away, and for some of you, for good. I feel this energy has failed to let something go because they still have some type of attachment. This energy feels like there's more about you that they would want to remember rather than forget. As it seems they are, they feel like things could be different. They seem like they're fine. This energy feels like you would see them differently. This is why they're not making a move. But as I said before, things seem like it's fine from the outside or even from a distance. Yet this energy is really depressed. This energy is depressed and they really don't know what to do with their energy. This energy is depressed and they don't even know it. I feel like this is someone who is depressed. They don't really know it. They're wanting to mirror your energy but they feel alienated. This energy is walking around like a loner. 
someone who is lost when it comes to direction and this is why they're easily led or taken advantage of this is someone who wants to isolate their energy they're reflecting wanting to mirror your energy their shared energy between the two of you still Many of you are just wanting this energy to even grow up or finally let go one of the two. This energy needs to make a choice. But regardless of what they think or feel, this energy does know. There's been a lot of drastic changes regarding their life, their energy, as well as their heart. As this energy thinks about reaching out all the time. But this energy doesn't have the heart. They don't have the heart to do so. Because someone knows they're going to have to bring the truth along with them. This energy was yearning, craving from the attention of others, causing something to be long overdue. This should have been a long-term commitment when it comes to someone who was helpful. This is your energy here. Something should have went the long haul. But this energy was very discreet about their choices and what they wanted. And someone became a thorn in your side. For some of you, you could be giving this energy tough love. This is a painful process for someone who is hungry for attention or attached to a karmic connection. Things are definitely accelerating when it comes to this third party energy who is very vain, self-absorbed. This could also be this other energy here who misses you in a very big way. Someone was definitely sitting in their pride doing some dirty games here, playing dirty mind games when they cut you off. This is someone who separated their energy, severed ties for a false energy who is very self-absorbed. I feel this definitely became a thorn in your side because someone was being very vague with you. But I feel it was attached to them playing games, wanting to keep you near but also pushing you away. This is someone who was unrevealing, very reluctant when it comes to being remorseful or changing something. Hmm. Someone was being vague when it comes to how they feel about you. I feel this is someone who just wanted center stage. Someone wanted the attention from this karmic connection, this karmic counterpart or false environment where someone had tunnel vision when it comes to something that was a dirty offer. Something was tainted. I feel this third party definitely had dark intentions. But I feel the fact that they wanted to see something for what they thought it would be, this is why they couldn't let something go. Well, I feel someone released a soulmate by blocking them out. This is your energy. Hmm. Someone blocked out a twin flame connection. And they didn't honor their word. They didn't keep a promise, even though they knew you were the one. Someone failed to be vocal and express what they thought. This energy is still not speaking up as they have already fallen from grace. Synergy fell from grace by wasting time, missing an opportunity by putting on this show, wearing a disguise, keeping secrets, and putting on this masquerade. Things went up in smoke. This energy had an ending where there was no victory. There was no reward. Now they're low-key asking themselves why. Something is unknown. They're seeking something, but they're wanting to be the hero in the story. Someone is still wanting you to... Hmm. Compromise. Even though they know they can't feel the void of you. A soul tribe. Someone who was a helper. Uh, a lover. Hmm. A loving individual. Who assisted and supported their every move. Yet this energy is now lost for words when it comes to you. Because things are still unspoken. And uncertain. And there is definitely some unsent messages. There's definitely something that is about to take place in divine timing. Things are going up in flames when it comes to this karmic connection counterpart where someone is about to speak up when it comes to their intentions, their emotions, and their feelings. This energy is about to tell this third party how they truly feel about you. So they'll finally release them. But this energy is in for a rude awakening. As I said before, this third party is not going out without a bang. This energy is definitely going to feel a deep sense of remorse for what they did to you because this third party is definitely about to put them through a lot of pain. Someone's going to regret how they yearn for this third party, put nothing above them, 
or became some type of thorn in your side, but the disrespect that was given is definitely the same, if not worse, the same disrespect they're receiving. I definitely feel something is accelerating when it comes to this energy. There is something gaining momentum. Something is definitely moving fast. This could be related to the energy of someone being a ticking time bomb. I feel something is accelerating when it comes to someone's movement towards you. A divine energy who they now see as a soulmate. Someone still claims you in their heart. Hmm. But this energy is still living in a fantasy. Someone's still stuck in a space because they're thinking how they feel about something. This energy is concerned about this third party and how they're, how far they're willing to go. But I feel they have no idea what this third party is capable of. Hmm. This third party is sitting in a space where they have nothing to lose. This is why something is accelerating and accelerating qu quickly, where it deals with their balance and they're about to be triggered. Hmm. This is why someone wants to find some type of middle ground when it comes to an argument or something that they said or something that you said. This is someone who wants to understand. They want to compromise or they want you to compromise. But as I said before, many of you are no longer sitting in that energy. This is why this energy is sitting in a deep sense of regret for what they've done or failed to do. As they know deep down, they had no real reason to test you in any way. Hmm. Now they're reflecting on that. This energy is reflecting on how things got so deep or so toxic so fast but I feel they're coming up short because they're not acknowledging something for what it is. This is someone who is still unable to see how their choices eventually changed you as well as this connection. Only because it's hard for them. It seems like it's just so hard for them to see themselves for exactly who they are which is only going to keep them lost lost to who they should be or even what they actually need to do to reconcile with you i feel this is someone who needs to really do something with intention if they ever truly want to find any sense of peace because without being honest with self this energy can never be honest with you i feel this is someone who made a lot of bad choices by being vague or discreet or wanting attention from a public eye this energy put on a performance and pushed you away in the process but I feel this situation was never your final destination hmm. I sense the universe only scratched the surface when it comes to your energy your light your purpose which only made this a huge loss for them hmm. I feel this is a huge loss for this energy who didn't invest or even respect the energy that was given from you I feel many of you were put into a space where you had to allow them to see where things could lead or even go. Someone needed to see something to truly believe it. Now they're feeling alienated from you, distant, feeling like they no longer have access. Because they're at a crossroad. Their indecision has kept them stuck. But I feel their heart is whispering to share what they feel, share the truth. They're being illuminated to their own betrayals. Karma is definitely sitting in their energy when it comes to something that they're chained to or even their blackened heart. I feel someone scorned you. Hmm. I definitely made the wrong, that, wrong choices when it comes to your energy. I feel this is someone who chained themselves to someone who has an even darker sense of self. A deranged energy here. They have an unsound mind as third party. Hmm. But I also feel like they're, in, they're intent on making this other, other energy go mad, go crazy. As I said before, the same energy that was given is now being received. This third party is very much an issue. Because they're about to cause a shift in their life that they did not expect. This is an unstable, explosive change. Where someone is about to change their perspective along with their changed heart. Because this third party is definitely unstable and volatile. This is an interference. Who is not being transparent about their their ways. How far that they would go. And I feel this third party is only causing them to reflect more on you. 
the more deceitful and disrespectful they become. Hmm. Someone is still being vague, nonchalant. They're trying to pretend like they're unfazed or unbothered when it comes to an apology because they're still blinded, blocked by their own denial, fixated when it comes to having what they thought they wanted. Someone was still on the climb. They were trying to level up, but they're starting to see nothing, nothing is fitting, nothing is making sense. Something didn't go well because they didn't have boundaries, and now they know they crossed the line because what goes around definitely comes around when it comes to karmic cycles and cause and effect. Someone's definitely getting a taste of their own medicine here. They know they screwed you over, manipulated a situation, and now they're the ones getting burned. There's a lot of despair. They feel like this third party put some type of spell on them. They feel captive. This energy feels spellbound. But they still have some type of magnetic pull when it comes to you. But I feel that's just their guilty conscience of knowing they did you wrong for no reason. I feel this energy had no barriers. Mm. But they're trying to get a grip, wanting to manifest your energy, have some type of homecoming with you. This energy is wanting to reconcile, but this energy has no clue on how to do that. This energy sees you as an eternal flame, but many of you have had to put yourself in the position to think smarter instead of love harder. Because even when you love them harder, they still fail to change. Now this third party is about to cause a shift and expose who they truly are. <sighs> if they're not already seeing it because things are already unstable. This is happening in the current energy here where they're dealing with a very volatile, deranged third party. Something is about to go up in flames because someone's blinded to a truth and was blocked by their own denial. But they're about to be illuminated to, to a truth in a very, very dark way. Because if they haven't noticed or even come to the occlusion by now that they need you more than you need them, their lessons in life definitely will. As it seems their misery and karma has only yet to break them. As whatever they're refusing to see or even admit will be the true reason for their downfall. Yet I sense the lessons learned in the process will be an experience they'll never forget. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.